Hey guys, I'm here to show you an awesome trick about your Uplay game. Did you know that you can actually take a game off of Uplay once you download it and back it up offline? You can. That's going to be a separate video. However, in this video, I'm going to be showing you an extra bonus trick that will totally save your life forever when it comes to Uplay games. As you know, a lot of the games you buy on Uplay are huge, right? So you got to back them up. What do you do? When you have slow internet and you have to re-download a huge game, well, I'll show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take files from our removable hard drive or our backup drive, put it on our main drive where we store our games just because this is how I've got our computer configured, and we're going to locally install the game right off of our hard drive into Uplay where it can be played. Now I know, this sounds too good to be true, right? <laughs> Well, I thought the same thing, but follow me and I'll show you how. So, we're going to go to All Files Ever, where we have our stuff stored, and we're going to go PC, and then we're going to go PC Game Client Libraries. I have everything neatly backed up because I get lost all the freaking time, so I have to go find stuff all the time. So I have it this way to save myself an arm and a leg. So we're going to hit Copy, and then we're going to keep that in the memory, and we're going to paste it right here and this is in local files games you play where I keep all my games that I actively play on my computer not on my backup drive so once it finishes copying it's not that big of a game most games I copy are like 50 60 gigs you know like Assassin's Creed Syndicate oh my gosh that game is huge so needless to say figuring out that I could do this trick in the last few you play updates thankfully thank you you play for doing this has saved my tail so here we go so now it's in our computer. We're going to open up Uplay and provided you're logged in and everything. You find the game that you copied over. In this case, it was Raymond Origins. So you go on all down here to Raymond Origins and you see down here where it says locate install game. Let's use a real computer mouse, shall we? There we go. All right. Locate installed game. And here is the awesome part of this video so this is what's going to save you guys so much time so we're going to go exactly where we copied the game from our backup drive find it and there you go Raymond Origins hit OK you want to select the main folder not all the subfolders within the main game name folder and you want to hit OK it's going to say discovering files files are discovered and then it's going to say, do you want allow this app to make changes? Yes, you know, if you're on Windows 7, it'll say you want administrative awesomeness. And you're like, yes, I want administrative awesomeness. So, yeah. As you see, all game files have been successfully located. That's it, guys. It's ready to play. I'll show you right now. All you have to do is go through this little prompt one more time. And we'll be right into the game. Guaranteed. Works every time, so far at least. So... Really large games like Assassin's Creed Syndicate and Far Cry 3, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate again, Assassin's Creed 3, so it's actually quite large, it's like 12 gigs in size or something like that, and Blacklist, Splinter Cell, all this stuff is huge games, oh, Far Cry 4, very big game, so backing all these up to a removable hard drive is a great habit to get into so that you could just slap it right on the drive when you want to play it. So it's going to do the in-game setup that you have to go through the first time you install the game. But other than that, this game is going to be completely ready to play immediately. It's like a dream come true. This is actually better than Steam as far as plug and play. There you go. As you can see, we're in and it's all good. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope this video really helps you guys like not rely on your internet speed so much every time you want to install a game so if this has helped you hit the like button if it hasn't hit the dislike button but if you hit the dislike button please tell me why because I'd like to fix it so thanks for watching 
comment, like, dislike, and subscribe. This has been Bowser64, and I will see you around with another video.